Today I'm going to show you how to set up Arc 5 Backup on a Mac with Amazon Drive. So jump onto the arcbackup.com website and come down and you'll see this Try Arc Free button. So if you click on that, you can then click Download Arc for Mac and that'll let you start the free trial which will run for 30 days. Now I've assumed you already have an Amazon Cloud Drive subscription or trial. If not, go to amazon.com forward slash cloud drive to get started. Now once your download is finished, open it up and you should have your Arc installer here. Run that, it'll ask you to verify, open it up, enter your username and password. Now you'll have to agree to the license and then enter your name and email address to start the trial and hit start trial. There you go, now you can log into your Amazon Drive or you can select a different backup location if you wish but we're using Cloud Drive, so click log into Amazon Cloud Drive and you can then enter your email or mobile number for your account and your password. If you don't already have one, you can actually sign up here. Now we want to set up our backups since we're linked to Cloud Drive. We need to enter an encryption password. It should be something secure and nice and safe, but something that also you'll be able to remember or write it down like it tells you, because this is not stored anywhere except on your computer and cannot be recovered if you lose it. Once that's done, it'll automatically add your home drive for you. So just click next and follow through the prompts and it'll show you your menu bar icon up there. So now we've added our home drive, we can detach it if we want. So if we were backing up an external drive and we needed to unplug it, we might want to detach it first so that Arc knows not to keep backing it up. So if we wanted to do that, we could click here to add a folder to our backups, select our external drive, and click the open button. And we'll see up here under the backup section, our external drive is now available. And our backups will start running on the next hour. So say we started this at 12.30, they'll run at 1 o'clock. So nice and straightforward. Hope you found this video helpful. For more like this from me, be sure to like it and also click to subscribe.